Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is going to be to make this font a little thicker. It's too thin. And this might happen if you haven't watched the first video on this subject. Uh, this is the same person I did this for. Uh, I went back and read her email and she was having trouble with fonts and making them thin and thicker. And I've done this several videos, I think. But I'm going to do this one a little bit different because in this particular case, the order in which you do it, do it makes a big difference. So these are both identical. I'm going to left click and right click. So I'm left clicking, left, left clicking no fill, right clicking hairline. Now this one, we're going to take and we're going to convert it to a curve. Okay. Then we need to break it apart. Then the weld tool comes up. Then we're going to weld it. Okay. I'm going to do this one different. I'm going to break it apart first, then I'm going to select it all and I'm going to convert it to a curve and then I'm going to weld it. I don't know if you can see the difference, but we lost some parts. We lost the interior parts of these three parts doing it the other way. I kept my parts here. So I've got the interior parts here. So in, it all depends on what order you do. It'd be better to break them apart first and then convert them to curves. Then, to answer her question, we're going to take this one right here. I'll tell you what, let's move it over. And we're going to go up to Effects, Contour, and we're going to contour 0.11 just by chance. Now, as in the video I just produced and a couple of videos I've been producing lately, Go up to a range and break contour apart. Now, if you click on the inside of the red, you're getting the red because it's treating it as filled. So there's your contour. It's a little bit thicker. Let's bring them here side by side. And you could contour it a little bit more. Um, you're going to lose these interior parts if you go too far. But it's quite a bit thicker and possibly would cut out. Let's just look at them side by side. There's the difference between the contour. This is the good one. So let's fill them in with black. And you can definitely see the difference in the contour. Now, if you don't quite understand, and I might have left it out of the last video, but I've just recently made a couple of videos on treat objects as field. This is very handy when you're using your contour tool because it's you need to select one of those lines and if you if you don't select the right one you're not going to get it so if you're doing a lot go up to tools customization toolbox uh, pick tool right there treat have this check treat all objects as field that way it's going to grab that center object I'm going to hit delete now you got the black object it didn't grab that other one it's grab it because you've got a lot bigger space here to grab so it's grabbing that one and moving it out of the way I hope that helped her a little bit and thank you for watching